All right, well, welcome everyone to the 31st edition of the Stereoscopic Displays and Applications Conference. It's absolutely amazing to uh, think that we've made it this far. Part of the Electronic Imaging Symposium all of these years. The Electronic Imaging Symposium actually started one year before SDNA. The, uh, there were a few precursor conferences before SDNA, which um, uh, also had a 3D theme, so uh, we could think of SDNA being even older than 31 years, but SDNA has been the name for all of those 31 years. And uh, of course our tagline is the world's premier conference for 3D innovation. I'd like to thank our conference chairs and conference committee, uh, Nick Holloman down the front here, Greg Favalora down the front here, Takashi Kawai over in the front as well. There's a definite gravity of chairs towards the front. Our founding chair is John Merritt over here. Our program committee um, who uh, contribute uh, variously throughout the year. Uh, Neil Dodgson from um, New Zealand, who unfortunately is unable to join us this year. David Gardia from Italy, who's also not here at the moment. Hideki Kakia uh, from Japan has a conflict with his um, teaching timetable. Uh, Stephen Keith is uh, uh, also not here at the moment. John Stern is in the audience. Hey, John holding up the fort for all of the other committee members. Beyond Sommer was hunting, oh here he is, yes, he was hunting for, um, for presenters short, uh, a little while ago. And Chris Ward is probably represented by Dan Lawrence in the back here. <laughs> so thanks for our chairs and committee. Um, this year our conference AV support is being um, conducted by Dan Lawrence for the 3D stuff down the back and Eric Curland down here in the front for the 2D stuff. Um, so if you have a 2D presentation, please lodge it with Eric or myself. Um, and if you've got a 3D presentation, please lodge it with Dan Lawrence. Uh, we are recording all of the presentations and we, we wish to release them on the SDNA website through the, uh, the YouTube channel, um, but we do need author's permission for that. So. Uh, um, I think we also need to raise some funds to get the, the videos processed, so we'll, we'll um, uh, hopefully do some uh, promotion and fundraising to uh, achieve that uh, um, following the conference. Um, the conference is importantly supported by our uh, many different sponsors and uh, we very much appreciate their support in many different ways. Our projection sponsors this year are DepthQ 3D, which is uh, a product of Lightspeed Design Group and also Christie Digital, who have provided one of the most amazingly bright um, 30,000 lumen projectors for this year's conference. And uh, um, the, uh, the content at tonight's 3D theatre should look absolutely amazing. That's um, being um, supplemented or supported by our DepthQ stereoscopic modulator and uh, the DepthQ stereoscopic um, player. Our 3D theatre partners are the LA 3D Movie Festival, which uh, runs down in, surprise, surprise, LA at the end of each year and uh, just ran in December. Eric Curlin is the, uh, the master of ceremonies of that particular festival and also the brains. Um, the 3D Film Archive has been active over many years, um, restoring and releasing a wide range of um, um, 3D films from, from yesteryear. Uh, they've got a, a couple on the agenda at the moment. We get to see a preview of a couple of those in the 3D theatre tonight, or maybe just one, I forget now. Was it one or two, John? One tonight and one on Wednesday. Oh, one tonight and one on Wednesday. So uh, hold your breath between those two sessions. Um, the, ses the society that does all the organising for the event um, is is and or the um, Society for Imaging Science and Technology. And... Uh, um, it's their staff you'll, you'll see at the, uh, the registration desk and Suzanne Grinnan is their executive director. Um, there are some prizes for the, th uh, for the conference and the theatre. So we have um, two categories for the 3D theatre, best of show in animation or CGI and also um, 
best of show in live action. And also um, we have a, um, um, another award for the best use of stereoscopic presentations during the, uh, the conference since we have such a, a great 3D system. The dinner tonight, which the sign-up sheet is just down here, which reminds me I should sign it myself, um, is at 8pm. Hopefully I got the time right. Is that correct? 7.45. 7.45? Okay. Yeah, it's after the, um, the 3D theatre completes. So it's at Max's Restaurant and Bar. Um, as you can see from the uh, the diagram here, you just walk out the door of the, the hotel, hit Bayshore Avenue, turn right, and go down here, and eventually Max's Restaurant is just on your left. And uh, we've got a little area down the back, and we've also got a piano player this year as well. Um, numbers are relatively limited, so um, please get your name on the, the sign-up sheet, and uh, I think um, Greg has to call in final numbers um, sometime around lunchtime, so um, um, get your name on the list if you're joining us. The um, um, the other thing to check is that how many people are on Twitter? So the conference has a Twitter address, Twitter handle, Twitter feed. So post something and tag that and we'll, we'll like you and retweet you back. Um, there's also the electronic imaging, although there's not enough characters in the average Twitter handle. Um, so it had to be electro imaging. So, uh, um, tag that as well if you like, and if you're not already following those two feeds, um, do so. If you're not signed up for Twitter, just go ahead. It's free. Um, we've already been experimenting with our um, Tim Tam Slam times this morning, and um, um, here's Greg demonstrating. <laughs> so according to this diagram here, you, you bite the corners but there are some variation in techniques and it sounds as though there's over our four years of doing this now, there's actually some, a little bit of scientific process going on, what might be the best process to, uh, to, to do your Tim Tam Slam. And, and Greg's actually got a no hand technique, which is very interesting as well, I just noticed for the first time. Um, so we'll be doing that in the morning and the afternoon breaks and perhaps even during lunchtime as well. We've got enough supply as long as we moderate to last us the uh, um, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, IST Bookshop is usually out the front. I forgot to check, but there's usually a few 3D books in there, so if you haven't got grabbed those, um, please do so. Um, there are some late changes, um, as always, um, and uh, usually just look at the, uh, the signboard out the front. Um, who's new to SDNA? One, two, three, and I know one of the presenters this morning was, was new as well, so welcome. Those of you who are regulars, make sure you say hello to the new people and, and make them welcome. Um, has everyone signed up for the dinner yet? Not yet? Um, and uh, actually one presentation, one um, uh, change I should mention, I don't know that it's made onto the board yet. The second paper of this session, um, the author was unfortunately unable to attend and uh, so uh, John Stern asked me to talk about two films that we will be showing snippets of tonight. Those are three um, films that have been captured with a 360 camera and are, print, uh, are presented um, on a non-360 system. So um, in that um, cancellation, I will give a little bit of information about the two films and how they've been remastered to be shown on a flat screen 3D display, um, 16 to 9, whether it's a um, desktop display, TV, or a, uh, a cinema screen like this. So that'll, that'll be the, uh, the second presentation of this particular session that's coming up now. Um, so, have I got everything? Is there anything else I need to mention? Theatre session? No, I haven't. Um, oh my goodness. Yeah. Um, the whole reason I wear this tie on Monday. Um, 
So the 3D theatre is one of the highlights of the conference, amongst many, and uh, it's an hour and a half session. Um, our, our lead producer is John Stern, and um, ably supported by Dan Lawrence, Chris Ward, and myself. And uh, um, on average, uh, the content is about three minutes per piece. And uh, we've got a whole host of different uh, material from all sorts of different genres, all sorts of different countries, all sorts of different production techniques. So uh, um, lots of interesting things to, uh, to uh, catch your, capture your attention. Um, my recollection is that's six o'clock. Very good, thank you, Greg. Um, and uh, so we even pro provide 3D glasses. The um, session I will be talking about um, as the second paper will also be in 3D. We'll show those two pieces that are being referenced in full. And uh, so um, um, we'll be handing out 3D glasses when that comes up. Those glasses are for you to keep. Um, so uh, please make sure you hang on to them. Put your on in your bag or your, your jacket pocket and make sure you uh, keep them fingerprint free and um, um, be, uh, be ready to enjoy that session. So uh, how are we going for time? Are we on time? I've got eight minutes according to this, is that right? Yes. Oh my goodness. When and where is the demonstration session? The demonstration session, very good question, Eric. Um, demonstration session is on Tuesday night, if I recall, is that correct? I'm looking at Greg, very good. 5.30, I'm glad I know these things off the, off the back of my hand. Um, so um, um, there's, actually, Bjorn is our demonstration session chair. Uh, would you like to come up and say a few words about the demonstration session? Impromptu? You're actually the session chair of this session, so it, it, it's a little bit of double, double service coming up. The program doesn't say where it is. Oh, um, I believe it's in here. Um, so I think that's ABC. Yeah, hello everyone. Welcome also from my side to SDNA um, 2020. Yeah. So the demonstration session is always a great space where you can, um, yeah, for example, present your own work. So if you, for example, have something like, a, like a, just a mobile phone um, and you want to so, show some 3D images, you can go to the session and present them to the pr people there. On the other hand, you have, of course, presenters at the demo session. So normally, if you give a talk here, you always also can sign up for the demo session for free. So basically, you get half a table, and in, on this half table, you can show whatever you like. So of course, it should have be somehow related to uh, stereoscopic displays and applications. And only also from ERVR, there are many people who are uh, presenting, I think. This year we will have three to four people from stereoscopic displays and applications. So Eric will also show something. If you have been here last year, so Eric had a very large demonstration session with, um, so you, you just talk to him when, when you go to the demonstration session. So he basically um, set up a small uh, museum in Los Angeles. And um, so I think you opened it two years ago, something like that, yeah. Yeah, and what he was basically doing, he showed some of his work. So it was really very interesting and engaging. And also we have, for example, new dis display technologies from time to time. I will also show something, uh, this time only using a, mo a smartphone, a new navigation device, which I will talk about on Wednesday uh, in my session, uh, so, so in my presentation. Yeah, so please feel welcome. So not just stereoscopic displays and applications is presenting there, also all the other uh, um, the other um, conference, sub-conferences here will present their something. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Bjorn. So it's uh, definitely not to be missed. It's um, um, a session that usually goes very fast and um, um, it's usually a struggle to see everything and uh, get to uh, experience everything in, in full detail. Um, I should also mention that sort of as a allied demonstration, uh, Bernard, Menburu from uh, Vajo um, has brought their new high-resolution foveated head-mounted display that can be used for VR and AR and MR for that matter. Um, and uh, he was giving a demonstration to some of us last night in the um, um, in his demonstration space upstairs. And 
uh, we were all blown away with the uh, the quality of the uh, the presentation and the, and the ability to switch between AR and VR mode very effectively. Um, so. Um, Bernard has kindly offered to demonstrate that to anyone who would like on an individual basis. He will be there at the demonstration session as well, but your ability to uh, see a full demonstration will be limited because there's only limited time. But if you'd like a more extended presentation, then please chat with Bernard right there. And um, uh, he's uh, very willing and um, wanting to, uh, to show you what it's very capable of, and I would high re highly recommend it. So how are we going with time? Three minutes. So um, at this point, I think I will hand over to Bjorn. You can tell us a little bit about this session, and um, I'll get ready for my presentation as well.